highlight schools that promote ex academic excellence, personal responsibility, and that best prepare students for college and careers in the years ahead. First, understand that your success in life won't be determined just by what's given to you or what happens to you, but by what you do with all that's given to you, what you do with all that happens to you, how hard you try, how far you push yourself, how high you're willing to reach. True excellence only comes with perseverance. This wasn't something I really understood when I was back your age. My father, some of you know, left my family when I was two years old. I was raised by a single mom and my grandparents. And, and sometimes I had, a, I had a tendency to goof off. People want to tell me what to do. In every task, no matter how trivial or menial it may seem at the time. You've got an alum who plays for the Yankees, I hear. He's supposed to be pretty good. <laughs> now, now, Derek Jeter wasn't born playing shortstop. Men and women who've worn our country's uniform and have given their last full measure of devotion to keep us safe and free. What if they said... What if they said, I really do love this country, but why should I sacrifice so much for people I've never even met? Young men and women in uniform right now making those sacrifices. So you and I are here today because those people made a different choice. They chose to step up, they chose to serve, and I hope you will follow their example because there is work to be done, and your country needs you. We've got an economy to rebuild. We've got children to educate. We've got diseases to cure. We've got threats to face. We've got an oil spill to clean up. We've got clean energy to discover. It's going to be up to you to heal the divide that continues to afflict our world. Now. I'm not saying you got to do it here all at once, but as Theodore Roosevelt once put it, I'm asking you to do what you can with what you've got where you are. And I can guarantee that wherever your journey takes you, there are going to be children who need mentors and senior citizens who need assistance, folks down on their luck who could use a helping hand. And once you've reached out and formed those connections, you'll find it's a little harder to numb yourself to other people's suffering. It's a little harder to ignore the national debates about the issues that affect their lives and yours. In the end, service binds us to each other and to our communities and our country in a way that nothing else can. It's how we become more fully American. That's and I'm told I'm told that soon after the promise was established,